Howdy! This is a t quick tutorial on how to view your input video capture device in VLC. Um, so that way you don't have to use the PS4 Remote Play, which can be kind of laggy. You can just have a direct video input from your P from your console, even any kind of console. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to make sure you're if you're on a PS4 Pro, the HDCP is turned off because uh, that that makes it so the Elgato and the VLC can't see what the uh, video signal is. Um, and then the other thing you're going to want to set up is just get a, a copy, not the actual one, but a copy of the VLC media player shortcut. It might already be on your desktop or it might be in the start menu. You can just drag it from the start menu. And once you once those things are done, then you're going to go to this link. This is a gist and it's just to, for this line of code right here. Um, and it'll be in the video description and you're going to copy this guy and then just paste it into a text editor. Oh, looks like I got some extra stuff there. I don't really need everything after this. I'll just need this line, this, this guy right here. And so what this is, is this is special in instructions for the VLC shortcut to open the PS4, the Elgato capture device, the HT60, in, in, in my case, that I'm using right now, directly without me having to set it up, set up everything. And so what I'm going to do is I, I'm, I need to customize this and make sure everything is correct in it. And so I'm, I'm going to actually open the VLC player as I normally would. And then I'm going to go to media, open capture device, make sure I have direct show selected. And then I'm going to go to device name, and there's my capture device. And then I'm going to go to show more options. And then I want to make sure I have the, the device name in here. So this is the name of the video device. I'm going to copy that. And then paste that in. I'm, I believe it's exactly the same. So there's not really going to be any change right here. And then I'm going to check the audio device in here as well. Um, it should just be the same. It'll just say, uh, yeah, see. You know, it's, it's pretty much the same as in, but instead of video, it says audio. But it, it won't hurt to make sure, just in case. You can copy it and paste it right inside of these quotes. The quotes are important because without the quotes, it doesn't work. And so just paste it right in the quotes. It's the exact same, so we're good. Um, and then we've got 4800 for the audio sample rate, which depending, you know, that might be different. But on a PS4 Pro, the audio sample rate is 48,000. 48, um, live caching is zero. This will this will mean the, there won't be any lag because it sometimes adds lag by default. And then the frames per second will be 60. Um, and then if you're on Xbox or some other console, you can adjust accordingly. So now that this is set up and ready to go, we're going to close VLC. Okay, it's closed all the way, and then we're going to open it, open up properties, and then we've got our location right here. And we'll actually, we actually won't even touch this because this is going to be the correct video location for Video Land, and this will this will work with the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version that I'm using here. And I'm just going to go after this and hit space, and then everything starting with D show. I'm going to copy all this stuff and just paste it after that. And this tells the shortcut exactly how to open up the capture device. And I'm going to hit OK to apply the changes. And then I'm going to double click my guy. And look at that. I'm ready to go. And I've got my full PlayStation guy going on. Um, since I have copyright protection off, it's good to go. There's no issues. This could, this will record at, if I want to full screen it, this will record at... Uh, proper 1080p at 60 frames per second and it's a, as if it's just running on my monitor as if it's just plugged in directly but that is how to use VLC with the Elgato HD60